Okay, I wanted to make a video of um, something I came up with to keep your moray eels or really anything, even work on snakes probably. I used to keep snakes all the time and um, this gave me the idea to keep my moray eels in the aquarium. A lot of people lose their eels to um, getting out the back of the tank or out the front of the tank or um, any any hole that might be in it. So I came up with this idea and let me show you what I came up with. First of all, this is an updated view of my tanks. I added a lionfish to a 150 gallon aquarium. Here's my uh, white mouth moray getting bigger and bigger. Right under him is a snowflake. He's much, he's not quite so different in size that he might look. He is, he's in the back there. He's a lot bigger than that looks like. Uh, this white mouth is extremely gentle for an eel. Um, as long as he's fed, I suppose. Uh, the lionfish I was worried about putting in here, it has been no problem. They don't want any part of it. Um, and there's a few other eels in there. I'm going to have to thin this down at some point, but I'm enjoying it right now. Here comes the white mouth. Let's get a picture of him before I show you what I'm going to show you how these eels I keep in the tank. out over here. Anyway, let's get to the subject of this. It is up here on top, basically on the back, you know you have back strips on each on the back of each aquarium. And so there's nothing special about the back strips um, of this tank. Initially, it's just the back strips you put on the tank. You can see all the way down. But what I've done is once you put the lid on and they slide to the back, I added another back strip across the top that um, go, comes over the back strip. So no matter what the eels do to try to push up, they can't because it's under underneath and it just slides underneath it doesn't stop me from taking the lids off and working now I did add the ventilation holes because doing this keeps all the a lot of the heat in so I had to add some ventilation holes and I may have to do bigger ones next summer if it stays warm or it gets warm in here I should say you can see it, it's just really tight. This hole here, um, there's just nothing that can get out of any of these holes. It's just that they are just tight as heck. And you can see it goes all the way across. So, no matter what the eel does to push up on the back strip that comes with the aquarium, it's underneath this lip. So, they can push all they want and it, it are locked in. It's just I haven't just haven't lost any any eels to this. Even a teeny one would have a rough time getting out of this, but the big ones, no problem. So they are locked in. You can see right here, I've gone over it when I push this lid back. It needs to be under it. Whereas this one's under it. So that's just kind of an error of mine, putting the lid back on. But you can see it's still stiff. This one. If they pushed up on the bottom one, it still accomplishes the same thing. This one right here pre prevents this from rising, or this one prevents from this one from rising. So, it is, it's simple, but I've heard of a lot of people, since I've been in salt water, complain about losing their eels up the tank and they're dead in the morning. And this is 100% guaranteed to not 
allow them out of the tank on a regular aquarium. If it's an acrylic with a different top, you could you could customize this to make it work as well. Anything with holes, you can use back strips and just silicone them on. You just dab a silicone. You probably see those on there. I just dabbed it on and sat them down, weighted them down overnight. And then the eels, I had the eels coming in the next day. So I mean, this thing works quick. So the silicone's just on top of the rim of the aquarium. And then the back strip goes on top of that. And again, now watch, I'll show you is if I wanted to remove this, you can see I just raised my lid and look at, now see there's the holes. If this was how the eels, this is how they normally get out of an aquarium. They push up here and they're out, they, out they go and they're on the floor and they're dead if you don't catch them quick enough. Okay, so this just slides back and goes under make sure it's tight before I, I just wanted to show that I'm gonna make sure it's tight before I close it up but I wanted to show you how easy this is to clean the lid still but then put it back in place you can put your cables up in here see I have some heater cables here and everything that comes out that's the first part the other part is the um, the front part, and this may not look quite as attractive. You can do smaller hinges, but basically all I've done on there is create, just buy these brass hinges, um, not, not hinges, locks, um, like you would for a door. And these are small, I think you can even get smaller ones. And the only thing I had to do was put some silicone underneath, or I mean some acrylic underneath here to space it up to where it matches the rim of the tank because the lids sit down in the recessed. So I just put whatever object or um, material you want to use there. It's just silicone them down, silicone this down, silicone this down, silicone this on the rim. And again, I, I didn't make it look amazingly pretty here. You can make this look a lot cleaner. I just wanted it to hold and they hold. It keeps the eels in the tank. They cannot get out, but you open it. And then there's the lid. So it may not be great in uh, how it looks, but it's solid. So they can't get out the back, they can't get out the front. Again, the only real big problem I had with it is keeping too much heat in. But the vents, I can make more vents of that. And it really saved uh, me from losing some eels over the years. I've never, I haven't seen anybody do anything like this on YouTube, and maybe they do, they just don't show it. But I wanted to share it and so people can use this and stop their eels from getting out of the tank ever again. Again, only modification is underneath. Just make sure it goes underneath. I mean, it works on top, but underneath's better when they push up, there's just something holding it. Seal it silicone these down every so often. Don't put so much on it that it's permanent. Because for some reason you may want to modify this down the road and you just want to get a razor blade and just slice the silicone off the rim right here all the way around. And you can remove it and start over if you wanted to. If, you have, if, you have, if it ever comes loose or you wanted to redo it, if you get too much salt creep in there. Anyway, it's longer and I wanted to go and talk about it, but I wanted to be clear. And this is what eels do. You can see here's, here's this one where he's hungry and he's going to be looking for food. And he's during the middle of the night, he may want to try to get out. And that's why this is so imperative to have a good locking system on your tank. Again, it can be modified to anything, any type of tank you want. I've done it on acrylic tanks. I've done it on little 10 gallons just to keep the small freshwater eels in. Or again, even snakes. I've done it on snakes when I was keeping reptiles. So it works sweet. Well, my grand, I'm going to leave you with, uh, my grandson named this large white mouth Rex. So I call him Sexy Rexy, but he calls him Rex. So I hope that helps somebody out to save their tank uh, from letting the eels out. I know it saved me, so... Thanks for watching for whatever it was worth. I appreciate it. And I'm gonna try to come up with a few more videos like this that I've discovered over the years. 
that are simple, but I don't think many folks talk about it or know about it. So if it helps one person save an eel, we're good. So thanks for watching and good night, sexy Rexy.